Ladies and gentlemen, this is a review instructional video on how to graph a line in slope intercept form. All right, just as a quick reminder, um, slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b, as you can see the equation here, where m is the slope. Remember, slope stands for rise over run. b is our beginning point, the first point that we're going to plot on the graph. So that's the y-intercept, and this is also the first ordered pair the first point we're going to plot on the graph. Now, before we continue to the next slide, I would like you to make sure you have a pencil, ruler, graph paper, and notebook paper on your desk before you continue. So press pause and resume play when you have those supplies. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you could write down this equation, y equals 2x minus 3 in your um, notebook, we're going to jot down and label the slope and the y-intercept before we continue to graph. All right, so the first thing we need to do is label the slope and the y-intercept. So on the opening slide, it says y equals mx plus b is slope-intercept form, which means 2 is my slope. I'm going to always write that as a fraction, 2 over 1. So the coefficient of x is my slope. And then my constant is going to be my y-intercept. Notice I circled the negative 3 because the y-intercept here is negative 3. All right, so what I'm going to do now to get this information on my graph is I'm going to begin with my y-intercept. So I'm going to begin at negative 3. So on my, y, on my graph, I'm going to go down until I get to negative 3 on the y-axis. I'm going to start at the origin and go down 1, 2, 3. And I'm going to put a point here. That's my... Um, y-intercept. Now to get more points on my graph, you remember I have to use my slope, so I'm going to move by going up 2, so that's my rise, and write 1. So from my y-intercept where I was beginning, I have to go up 2, 1, 2, and write 1. Up 2 and write 1. Now to get points on the other side of my y-intercept, I'm going to do the reverse. I'm going to go down 2 and left 1. Down 2 and left 1. Once I have a few points on either side of my y-intercept, I'm going to grab my straight edge and I'm going to go all the way through my points and I am going to make sure I have arrows on both sides of my points and I'm going to want to label my graph, the, the bottom of the line, with my equation. y equals 2x minus 3. All right, so that's a quick review on how to graph an equation that's in slope-intercept form. All right, here's our next equation, and you can see this equation is not in slope-intercept form. So our job is to put it into slope-intercept form, which means I need to get it to look like y equals mx plus b. Whoops, plus b. There we go. Okay, so I have to solve for y, which means I have to get this guy by himself. So I'm going to first start by getting rid of the 2x term. So I'm going to subtract 2x on both sides, and I'm going to be left with negative 6y equals negative 2x minus 12. I'm going to divide both sides by negative 6. And then I'm going to be left with y equals, now look at this as a fraction here. When you see that as a fraction, it's a little easier to simplify. Negative 2 over negative 6, that simplifies to be 1 third x plus a positive 2. Because negative 12 divided by negative 6 is positive 2. Okay, from there I'm going to identify my slope. So my slope is 1 third and my y-intercept, my b, is 2. Now I need to take this information and put it on my graph. So I begin at positive 2. So from the origin, I'm going to go up to 1, 2. And then from there, I need to move by going up 1 and right 3. So up 1 and to the right, 1, 2, 3. Up 1 and to the right, 3, 1, 2, 3. To get points on the other side of the y-axis, I'm going to do my move in the reverse. I'm going to go down 1 and left 3. Down 1 and left 3. 
it's really important that you grab your straight edge and it's a little more complicated on this iPad to do and get exactly through those ordered pairs but I'll do my best a little off there um, and then you're gonna make sure you have arrows on both sides of your graph and then label your graph with your equation um, I'm a little bit out of room on both sides so I'm gonna try to sneak it in here y equals one third x plus two all right ladies and gentlemen that was a quick review on how to graph equations, linear equations in slope-intercept form.